Beneath the calm streets of Naples, the ground is moving again. At first, it's almost invisible, a faint shiver underfoot, a vibration that locals dismiss as passing traffic. But deep below the surface, a vast chamber of pressure is building, and the sleeping giant beneath Campi Flegre is beginning to stir. For months now, seismic swarms have rippled through the caldera, hundreds of tremors and clusters, each one stronger than the last. And then came the quake that changed everything, a magnitude 4.6, the most powerful in over 40 years. It struck without warning, shaking the entire Bay of Naples and even collapsing part of the coastal ridge near the island of Panada. To scientists, this wasn't random. It was a message. Gas emissions from the volcano suddenly dropped, a sign that the vents releasing underground pressure may be sealing shut. And when a volcano's breathing slows, that's when it's most dangerous. New studies now reveal a fractured layer of weakened rock beneath the caldera, a natural pressure cooker lid that traps heat, gases, and magma just miles below the surface. Every tremor, every millimeter of uplift is the sound of that lid tightening. The question haunting volcanologists is simple. When the next crack forms, will it release the pressure or ignite it? The danger beneath Campi Flegre isn't just heat, it's movement. The entire landscape is slowly rising, pushed upward by something unseen. Locals call it Bradycism, the breathing of the earth. But lately, that breath has grown heavier. Satellite readings show the ground lifting more than an inch every month, a silent heave that signals gas or magma expanding below. Scientists comparing recent data to past activity have noticed something alarming. In the 1980s, uplift came and went in short bursts. Now, it's steady and accelerating. That means pressure is no longer being released naturally, it's trapped. Imagine a massive steel spring being wound tighter with every passing day. Each microquake, each faint hiss of sulfur is the metal groaning before it snaps. Deep within the caldera sits a fragile cap of rock, a thin, brittle seal separating the surface from a churning zone of gas, magma, and boiling water. As fluids build beneath it, the cap begins to flex. Tiny fractures spider through the crust, releasing whispers of steam before sealing again. It's a dangerous rhythm. Pressure, crack, seal, repeat. A cycle that can end only one way. Geophysicists now warn that Campi Flegre's crust is reaching its breaking point. Recent imaging has revealed a weak zone slicing across the caldera, a fault-like fracture acting as a conduit straight toward the surface. If rising gases exploit that weakness, the result wouldn't be a single explosion, but a chain reaction. First, a sudden steam-driven blast, then magma following close behind. The volcano isn't erupting yet, but it's moving from elastic to brittle, and once rock stops bending and starts breaking, the countdown truly begins. Long before the city of Naples spread across these rolling hills, the ground here was shaped by fire. 40,000 years ago, Campi Flegre unleashed one of the largest eruptions in human history, an explosion so vast it blanketed Europe in ash and may have altered the planet's climate. Entire valleys collapsed as the magma chamber emptied, forming the immense crater we now call the caldera. The eruption scattered glassy shards across the Mediterranean and may even have cooled the atmosphere enough to reshape ecosystems for centuries. Since then, the volcano has erupted many times, though most were smaller and shorter lived. The last major one came in 1538, when the ground near the town of Pozzuoli began to rise. For days, the earth swelled like a living thing, until it burst. In a single night, a new mountain appeared where farmland once stood. Locals named it Monte Nuovo, the new mountain. It was born from steam and ash, a violent reminder that this quiet landscape hides unimaginable power. But the similarities between that ancient event and today's unrest are hard to ignore. Before the 1538 eruption, the same signs appeared months of tremors, a sharp drop in gas emissions, and relentless uplift. Then, silence. When the pressure finally broke, it did so without warning. Modern volcanologists studying those deposits say the timeline fits eerily well. If the same pattern repeats, the system could already be entering its critical phase, the point where pressure finds the weakest path upward. Every fracture, every microquake, might be tracing the route for magma to follow next. 
History doesn't repeat itself exactly, but in Campi Flegre, it often rhymes. In 2025, the ground beneath Naples began to tremble again, not once, but hundreds of times. It started with faint rumbles, small enough to dismiss, but within weeks, the quakes multiplied, striking in bursts that scientists call swarms. Each swarm is a conversation beneath the earth, a message written in motion, and the message now is unmistakable, pressure is climbing. The strongest of these quakes, a magnitude 4.6, was felt across southern Italy. Windows rattled, streets emptied. In some neighborhoods, cracks appeared in old stone walls, and the air filled with the faint smell of sulfur. For residents of Pozzuoli, it was deja vu, a reminder of the 1980s crisis, when Bradyseism forced thousands to evacuate. Back then, the uplift stopped just in time. This time, it hasn't. Volcanologists monitoring the caldera report that the uplift rate is now faster than at any point in the last 70 years, over 1.5 centimeters per month. That may not sound like much, but across an entire city, it's monumental. Buildings shift, foundations crack, and pipelines warp as the ground beneath them slowly inflates like a buried balloon. But the earthquakes aren't just random shaking. They're shallow, clustered just two to three kilometers below the surface. That's the danger zone where gas pockets accumulate and magma pressure rises. And according to new seismic tomography scans, that pressure is now migrating upward, directly beneath the populated zones of Pozzuoli and Bacoli. Even more unsettling are the gas readings. Sulfur dioxide emissions, a key indicator of volcanic breathing, have dropped sharply, suggesting the vents may be sealing again. If those channels close completely, pressure has only one option, to find a new way out. For millions living around the Bay of Naples, that thought alone is enough to make the ground feel like a ticking clock. If Campi Flegre were to erupt today, it wouldn't look like the dramatic cone of Mount Vesuvius bursting into the sky. It would begin almost invisibly, a low roar, a pulse through the ground, and then a blast of steam ripping open the earth. Within seconds, ash and boiling water would erupt from fissures across the caldera, sending columns thousands of feet into the air. That's what scientists call a phreatic eruption, steam-driven, sudden, and nearly impossible to predict. But if magma follows, the scale changes instantly. A full eruption could send pyroclastic surges racing across the bay, superheated clouds of gas and rock moving faster than a jetliner. Everything in their path would vanish in seconds. Ash would fall over Naples within minutes, coating streets, airports, and the sea itself in gray dust. Flights would halt, roads would vanish, and daylight could dim to twilight as fine ash drifted across Europe. Computer models suggest that even a moderate eruption could displace more than half a million people. In a worst-case event, millions might need to flee, in a region with only a handful of evacuation routes. And here's the chilling part. Some of those routes run directly through the danger zone. If roads buckle or bridges collapse, escape could become impossible. Beyond the immediate destruction, the effects could ripple worldwide. Volcanic ash high in the atmosphere reflects sunlight, lowering global temperatures. A major eruption here could cool the planet by several degrees, triggering failed crops, disrupted weather, and years of economic chaos. For centuries, Naples has lived in the shadow of Vesuvius, but it may be the sleeping giant next door, the one few can see, that holds the greater threat. Beneath the calm surface of the Bay of Naples, the instruments never sleep. Every tremor, every chemical shift, every fraction of ground movement is logged and analyzed in real time by a team of volcanologists who know that silence here is never a comfort. It's suspense. Deep below the city, fiber optic cables and seafloor sensors form one of the most advanced monitoring networks on Earth. They listen to the ground the way a doctor listens to a heartbeat. And lately, that heartbeat has changed. Data from early autumn 2025 shows subtle but consistent signs of escalation. The uplift zone expanding outward, gas ratios shifting from water vapor toward carbon dioxide, and microquakes clustering tighter around the Solfatara crater. These aren't isolated signals, they're patterns, and the patterns are converging toward something scientists call critical pressurization the stage when a system transitions from stress to fracture. Inside Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, or INGV, debate is growing. 
Some researchers urge calm, pointing out that Campi Flegre has surged before and quieted again. Others argue the system is behaving differently this time. The gas chemistry, the uplift speed, the fracturing, all hint at a deeper reawakening. Unofficial reports even suggest the Institute has discussed relocating some monitoring facilities farther from the epicenter. Locals can feel that tension too. Construction of new evacuation routes has suddenly accelerated. Schools practice drills that were unheard of a decade ago, yet official statements remain cautious careful not to spark panic in a city that depends on tourism to survive. But underground, caution doesn't matter. The volcano isn't waiting for permission, it's preparing for release. The people of Naples have always lived with fire beneath their feet. But never before has that fire felt so close. Every tremor, every night of rattling windows, feels like the earth whispering the same question. How much longer can it hold? Geologists warn that Campi Flegre may now be approaching a tipping point. Its brittle caprock, the crust sealing in the heat and gas below, is showing signs of strain. If it fractures, even partially, it could open pathways for magma to surge upward. That's how eruptions begin. Not with a single blast, but with a network of invisible cracks that suddenly connect. And yet, predicting when that moment will come remains impossible. The system could calm tomorrow, or it could break next month. The only certainty is that the pressure hasn't stopped rising. For the six million people living in and around Naples, that knowledge hangs heavy. Many have grown used to the rumbles, the subtle vibrations that roll through the night. But scientists know those tremors are the system testing its limits. It's like listening to a dam creak before it bursts. The question now isn't if Campi Flegre can erupt again, it's whether humanity is truly ready when it does. History suggests the first warning will be seconds of shaking, followed by a blast no one can outrun. And as unsettling as that sounds, awareness remains the most powerful tool we have. Because this story isn't just about one volcano. It's about the fragile balance we live in every day, above a planet that never really sleeps. So what do you think? Is Campi Flegre nearing its breaking point? Or are these tremors just Earth catching its breath? Let me know in the comments and make sure to subscribe for the next deep dive because this story is still unfolding and the ground beneath Naples is still moving.